The Congo Basin Forest is the second largest tropical forest after the Amazon. It helps mitigate climate change by absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. It is also a very rich biodiverse area with unique species such as bonobos, mountain gorillas and forest elephants. But most importantly, there's 60 million people who depend directly on forest resources for water supply, food supply, energy, and medicinal plants. However, these forests are increasingly under threat. Drivers of deforestation in the Congo Basin generally are linked to activities such as agriculture, mining, charcoal making, artisanal logging, or urbanization. Up-to-date information on what is happening in remote forests is essential for better forest management. But what do you do when this information only exists in stacks of papers in offices spread across different provinces? Working hand-in-hand -hand with national government, the World Resource Institute has developed a solution to address these challenges. The Forest Atlas is both a database that allows governments to digitize and manage their information and a website that shares this information with the public for free. By putting all of the information in one place, the Forest Atlas helps governments and the public easily see which forest areas are zoned for which activities and better plan where to locate new activities or development. Here is one example. After the DRC declared a moratorium on new logging titles in 2005, WRI supported the process to review the country's 156 logging concession. By developing the Forest Atlas to map all concessions and examine their legality, the Ministry found that over half of the concessions were illegal, resulting in the cancelling of logging rights on more than 12 million hectares of lands an area more than four times the size of Rwanda. In the past, data on trends such as forest loss and fire were only reported once a year. Now the Forest Atlas updates forest change data every week. Users can even sign up for email alerts about activities in a specific area. For example, a protected area could use alerts to focus ranger patrol on places with ongoing fire and forest loss. Although the forest atlases were first developed for countries in the Congo Basin, they have since expanded to other countries like Madagascar and Georgia. Forest atlases can be developed for any country in the world. The Forest Atlases also seek to improve data management skills within national government. WI trains technicians within forest ministry so that they can add new data directly to the Atlas database. In this way, the partnership improves transparency while building capacity over time. While access to online information is important, most forest stakeholders across Central Africa have limited internet accessibility. To address this, posters containing a summary of the Forest Atlas information are frequently printed and distributed to local forest managers. Information is power. And thanks to the Forest Atlas, more forest managers and policymakers can make informed decisions that can protect their forests for the future.